So I first joined Guinness World Records 12 years ago, originally to take care of our TV shows that we do, do all over the world. And part of the training that everyone gets at Guinness World Records is how to represent the company and how to be an adjudicator. So you then have the opportunity to do that more and more if you want. And over the past 12 years, I've been lucky enough to, to represent Guinness World Records and go all around the world judging record attempts. I remember getting a copy of the book, I think in about 1988, uh, I was very young, and uh, I, I can't remember much about what was in it other than just being amazed that these facts existed and things that I didn't know anything about before, and I remember reading the same one for what seemed like years afterwards, and you just go back to it again and again and pick out different bits. Well, there's some fairly spectacular records in there. I suppose, which one would really... I mean, what one that I saw was the most... was a lady from the US called Mama Lou who rolled frying pans, which is such a kind of iconic strength record. Um, and she managed to roll six frying pans in a minute. So that was pretty spectacular. Ten seconds of frying pan into kind of that size. Only about 10% of the records on our database make it into the book every year. Um, so it's, it's a very small percentage and each year it's 75% new content. So every year we are trying to reflect current interests, recent trends, what kids want to read at that particular time. So we do change the content year to year. Records that I've seen, some of the iconic ones are obviously memorable. The tallest man in the world, um, Sultan Kozen, he's been to our office several times. I've met him on various TV shows that we've done. Um, then another iconic one, uh, Kim Goodman, who can protrude her eyes 12 millimetres, she does the furthest eyeball pop. So that, I think, is, on, is in, in this year's book. Um, that, a lot of people refer to that one because it's a picture that they've seen so many times. Um, in terms of ones that I've actually witnessed, one of the first ones I did was the largest human national flag in Portugal, where... Uh, 18,000, nearly 19,000 women came together um, to demonstrate their support for the Portuguese soccer team who were going off to the World Cup in Germany. And they all were given different coloured tunics to put on and went out onto a soccer field in specified areas. And then when they're all in place, it was viewed from above and it was the Portuguese national flag. So, largest human national flag. That record's now, I think, 48,000 people, so it's been improved quite a bit, but at the time, that was pretty spectacular.